Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I will show you some tips and tricks on how to make Windows 10 run faster. So a lot of people are complaining about the slowliness of Windows 10. So here I'm going to show you some tips and uh, without using any third party program in order to make Windows 10 run faster. So when you start actually your Windows 10, there are a lot of startup programs that are enabled by default. So you have to take a look on these program and disables the ones that you don't need. So in order to do that, it's pretty easy. So you right click as you can see here on my taskbar and you go to your task manager okay <clears throat> so here you can see a lot of tabs so there is a processes tab performance app history startup users detail and services so you go to your startup tab here and here you can see depending on the program that you have installed some program that will launch when you start up windows so you have actually to disable the ones that you don't need. So for example, here on my PC, I am running Yandex, which is actually a browser here at startup. We have also Dropbox, which is a service that runs when Windows 10 starts and Avera, which is actually my antivirus. So for example, I don't need these two ones to start up when windows starts so i already disabled the dropbox so in order as you can see here in the status yandex is still enabled so in order to, to disable the startup uh, programs you right click on the program that you have chosen and simply you hit disable as you can see now the status has changed so whenever windows 10 starts it will not start the service of Yandex. So those services can actually slow down your PC. Okay. Another tip. So we are here on the task manager. You have also to take a look at the services tab. So these are all services that are running now in your PC. Okay. So here you can see the status. So some, some are stopped and some are running so you can just click here to sort by running processes and disable the one that you don't need and here is a little description on that service but make sure to disable only the one that you are sure that will not stop your windows 10 <coughs> so for example here i can see that avera security is running avera updater service is also running so if you want to disable any service also as the performed one, you can just right click on it and hit stop and service will be stopped. But once again, pay attention to not disable or stop service that is actually necessary for Windows 10 to run. And you can know that just by <coughs> seeing the description here so you can see if the service is related to windows or something else okay so for example here i have adobe acrobat update service so actually the service will check the version of adobe acrobat that you have and try to update it when when there is an update so if you don't want to update your adobe acrobat you can just click or right click on the service and stop it so that will make your PC actually run faster, okay? Another thing that you can perform, so let's close actually this uh, task manager. And this time we are going to the start menu here, click on it and go to the settings. So in the settings, you can just type notification 
so here you can see notification and action settings so you click on it and you can actually disable this get tips tricks and suggestions as you use windows because it's a service also that may slow down your pc so you have only to uncheck it here we go so now you don't get any tips and tricks from windows okay so i will return to home and also i can disable animations because the animations in windows 10 can slow down your pc also so let me just type here for example performance so here you can see adjust the, the appearance and performance of windows so you just click on it and there is here another dialog box performance options so by default you can see that the option chosen here is let windows choose what's the best for my computer and by default it allows the animations for example animate controls and element animate windows when minimizing and maximizing animations in the taskbar so all that option can be disabled fade or slide menu into view fade or slide tool tips into view fade out menu items after clicking so all these options can be actually disabled so you have just to uncheck them and here we go you hit apply and ok so that will prevent animations in windows and that may actually make your windows 10 run faster okay another tip make sure that you don't have any service for example like uh, onedrive or me i actually i'm using dropbox so when you are using this uh, actually cloud services it will synchronize with the service on the internet so that may cause actually the performance of your windows 10 to be higher so you have to disable them so me i already disabled actually dropbox but just make sure that you have onedrive for example if you have onedrive make sure it's not running okay also service that is really really consuming the memory and the hard disk of your pc is the search indexing service so whenever you search for a file or folder inside windows it actually uses the service so you have to make sure that it's not running so maybe that will cause to slow down your pc so once again i right click on the taskbar i go to task manager and i will go to services and here i will search for windows search so i can just actually sort by name so actually as you can see here this is service w search which is window search so now it's running but you can disable it if you want so that may cause actually your windows 10 to run faster also okay one another very important tip is sometimes when you are actually windows running windows update automatically they will slow down your pc so you have to make sure the settings for your windows updates so you go actually to your settings once again and you type update and here you can see windows update settings so let me check them so here you can see you can actually pause updates for seven days if you want so that will not actually check every time the windows updates from microsoft so it's good to run updates but not every day just to run them once a month or twice a month that's really really sufficient okay so you can pause update for seven days and run them 
if you want to run it, just resume updates because when the updates are available, so your PC will download them and that may cause your PC to slow down. Especially if you are using the net, you may notice that your PC is running slower and you cannot browse the internet very quickly. So it's very important tips that you can also check from time to time. But forget the updates are sometimes very really important. So you much you must run them at least once a month. Okay. I will finish by a very important tip also is to actually defrag your hard disk. Because when your disk or you actually your files are fragmented in your hard disk, when you are searching for something, it will take a lot of time in order to search for the files in your disk. So you have to fragment your hard disk from time to time in order to speed up actually your PC. So in order to do that, it's pretty easy. You go to your browser actually, if you want, and you go to your computer. Let me see, where is it? So those are my hard drive. So this is my PC. So he, here you can see the hard drive that I, want, that I have. So you can just right click on any hard drive, but especially the most important one is where the Windows 10 is installed. So you right click on it. So actually it depends on the size of your PC. So, and you can go actually to properties, tools, and here you can actually optimize and defragment drive. You can just click on this button here and analyze it. It will take some time depending on the size of your hard drive and it will offer you to actually fragment your hard disk. So it's really, really interesting if you want actually to boost the performance of your PC. So you must at least run this program once a month also, okay? So just keep that in mind. And you can even, if you, if you want, you can change frequency here weekly. So it means for the settings that I run schedule every week, it will actually fragment my hard disk. So it's very important to run them at least once a week in order to get the best performance for your PC, okay? And if you run all these steps and you didn't get the result that you need, the only thing that remains is to install an antivirus or anti-malware software into your PC. Because sometimes you have a virus or malware so that cause the slowdown of your PC. And the best, the best advice that I can give you is to install malware bytes. Malware bytes will actually check your PC or your computer for any malware that may be causing you to slow down your PC. But as I told you, that these tips are just free, so you don't need any third party programs, okay? So that was just a brief uh, introduction on how to make your Windows 10 run faster. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.